for Lux Loves and I'm back with my second video of the day. Um, I actually got both my backpack and this boy bag today so I decided I should film both. So let me go ahead and just kind of introduce you to this bag. Um, this is the new uh, Chanel So Black Boy. I'm going to call it the So Black because generally in the past Chanel's black handbags with the black hardware were called So Black so I'm going to keep on with that and that's what it's going to be called for ease of use. Here is the So Black Boy in the old medium size in grained lambskin, their caviar grained lambskin with the all black hardware. This is the old medium size, so that means it is 10 inches across, 6 inches tall, and 3 inches in width. And it has this beautiful, kind of glossy, shiny black hardware. Um, definitely, from my observations here, this hardware is a matte black, it's not iridescent, so it's a flat black, it just has a glossy finish. Um, it is really, really gorgeous. For being grain lambskin, I am honestly, sincerely impressed. If you look here, the puffs are actually really deep, and they're quite tall. Um, for some people, I know it just you know it matters for me personally I don't mind I know that probably in time these puffs are gonna go down but in the meantime the feel of this leather is amazing it feels like the caviar I've always wanted um, I had the original 17 P caviar which is like the shiny one um, it was like this one it was definitely lighter than the 17 S um, I'll go ahead and just insert this little tag there so you understand what I'm talking about between 17 S 17 P all the different collections um, definitely, this one is definitely much more substantial, and it feels like actual leather. I'm not saying the 17P didn't, but it had a different feel because it was so shiny, it was so glossy, and it was so light. Um, so definitely, I'm really happy with this one. I saw the Caviar Boys from the season before with the matte gold hardware, and as beautiful as they were, I thought it was too soft, almost like a matte caviar, kind of like a soft caviar, and I really wasn't into that. So I'm really glad I passed and I picked up this beautiful baby. Um, I actually ended up bringing back my 17P boy in the blue and I got something else and I will be doing a video on that one next week when it comes in from Seattle. Other than that, let me just go ahead and do one more little roundabout with this bag. I'm not really doing a review. I'm kind of just doing an overview for those of you who don't get to see the bag prior to purchasing um, because I know there's like a thousand people on the wait list. So I definitely wanted to give you a quick overview of the bag, just like every other boy bag. Um, you know, it's just one big hole there. It's black, so you can't see. Um, black fabric lining and that slip pocket there. Pretty um, standard for boys. Other than that, I do want to mention a little detail about this bag, and you probably won't be able to see it, but it definitely has an iridescence to it. I see like some pinks, some greens. Some like kind of purpley magenta, like glittery flecks. It is not very noticeable from far away, but once you get really close to it, you will see that iridescence, and it is absolutely gorgeous. I also do find that because this hardware is kind of glossy and black and flat, I'm noticing that as I play with it, if your hands have any oils or lotions on there, um, you will see it on here, and it kind of feels kind of funny. And it's not that it feels funny because there's something wrong with the hardware, it's because it is glossy. If you have ruthenium or any aged hardware, it is so easy. You can scratch it, you can bang it, you can touch it, and it always feels like it's brand new, like there's nothing with it because of the way the material is. This one, because it is glossy, you will see and you will feel like the fingerprints and any of the things that you touch that go on this bag. So I definitely recommend taking like a microfiber towel and definitely wiping it down after every use or two. Maybe that's excessive, but, you know, I think for what we pay for these bags, a little extra tender love and care to preserve them shouldn't hurt. Other than that, I am so glad that this green lambskin is super duper durable and supple feeling, and it doesn't feel thin. It doesn't feel like it is a sensitive bag. It definitely feels very substantial, and I'm very, very happy um, for the caviar. It definitely doesn't feel as stiff and um, like the regular traditional caviar has a little bit of a softer touch to it, but I like that. I think because of the structure of this bag, that softness is kind of nice. Um, also on my bag, I do notice this indent goes a little bit more than my previous boys. I've had three total, including this one. Um, I don't really mind that. I think that's really normal of this bag, you know, just because of the way the um, thing is. 
but if you see here in the light, um, do you see how like the fingerprints kind of shine off? It's kind of like the tan color. But other than that, I just want to do a little overview for you so that y'all can see, since I know some of you won't be able to see it in person. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm sorry my videos are a little bit on the amateur side. I'm just recording just for overview, I'm not really trying to do anything, just trying to share with you my bag, you know, just in case you're thinking about buying it and you're not sure, given that, you know, Chanel has been like up and down on certain products and quality. So I definitely say, yes, go ahead and take this. I will keep you updated when I start like wearing it more and see how it wears. But so far, compared to my 17P, I am really, really happy with this one. Other than that, it was a pleasure showing you my bag, and good luck to you all that are on the list. Um, good luck to everyone else. Um, trying to get the other versions of the So Black. There's definitely a jumbo coming out and a mini. I hope you all get your bags, and we're all in this little So Black gang together. Anyways, it was my pleasure. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, and if you have any questions, I'll answer you there. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.